Welcome to Digital Asset News, take the top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets, and I'll break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, I've got some concerning news. Bitcoin dumps on news of successful COVID-19 vaccine trials. Even though this is initially concerning, I'm going to show you a little email I got from Kraken, which pretty much lays out exactly where we are and where we are going. On top of that, Kraken announces Bitcoin Cash Fork plans and Bitcoin ABC reveals two-pronged efforts. So I don't know what's going to happen with this fork, but I can tell you right now, there's a lot of exchanges lined up to give you support on what's about to happen. So before we jump in the market, I just want to say thanks everybody for signing up to the Dan Teaches Crypto website. Very happy we've had over 1,200 signups in the last 48 hours, and I'm really uh, quite ecstatic about it. It took us a long time to get this going. It's very simplified, very easy, cuts the learning down by substantially. And oh yeah, it's 100% free. So look for the link in the description and uh, go check that out when you got time. All right, so let's take a look what's going on in the market. So today it is Monday, November 9th. It's around 2.30 p.m. Texas time here in Houston. And uh, even though they, the first article talks about a dip, looks like it recovered quite nicely to 15.4. We're going to talk exactly about news and why it really doesn't matter. So 15.4, it's up 0.7%. Hey, not bad, but 13% for the week. We'll take it. Ethereum's down a little bit, uh, but still marvelous run. Almost 4.50, up 13% for the week. That's good numbers. Tether's tether, roughly, roughly around 17 billion. XRP holding strong at 25 cents, like that. Bitcoin Cash is down a little bit, which I do expect a little more volatility probably on the upside, especially with a uh, hard fork coming up, which I believe people will buy into Bitcoin Cash because they want to profit on what is going to happen is potentially they're going to get two different coins. I'm going to tell you why that's a fool's errand. Also, Chainlink is down uh, 1%, but still, hey, 12.50, I'll take it. Binance Coin, Polkadot. Polkadot still, it's always around 430, 430, 440, 410, somewhere around there. Uh, looks like it's doing pretty stable. Uh, I own Polkadot, so I'm pretty excited about the stability right now. Hopefully it does a little bit better, but hey, we'll see. Bitcoin SV down. Let's see, what's uh, anything phenomenal? That's what I'm always looking for. Anything phenomenal, because this is cryptocurrency. I don't really, I'm not a traditional market guy, so I'm not really looking for like that 2.1% increase and, you know, blow my load or something. I'm just like, wow, where's the 25% increase? Uh, 6% for Aave. Man, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, uh, 80% for Aave in a seven day time frame is fantastic. I think Aave is going to do very well uh, over the short term and medium. Who knows about the long term? Celsius Network, uh, $1.89. It's going to hit $2. It's going to hit $2 pretty soon. And I think after that's going to go uh, bananas. So I will just say that uh, I'm invested in the Celsius. I'm invested in the platform. 30% of my portfolio is over there. Uh, if you're looking for a link, uh, check the description and sign up. I think uh, with the link, I think you get between 10 and $20 just for signing up if you haven't already. Uh, just check it out. It's a pretty good platform as far as like loans and lending and then uh, actually gaining APY, which is something you can't do at the banks anymore. Anyhow, so uh, that's what's going on with the market. Still a pretty good day in all honesty, but let's take a look at what's going on with this first article. So Benjamin writes, Bitcoin dumps on news like successful coronavirus vaccine trials. So this is always interesting to me to see exactly what's going to happen. The narrative around Bitcoin and gold is that it is, if you believe what uh, Shamath Palihapitiya says, that it's schmuck insurance and that uh, it's for when the markets really just do awful. Same thing with gold, uh, but Bitcoin's better. Um, but now that we have this fantastic vaccine, I think some of the people that know just that part were like, oh, there's a vaccine, it's gonna be awesome, and they're gonna turn around, so I gotta get out of Bitcoin. And that's a huge mistake. But here's what's going on, I'll explain a little bit. So Bitcoin fell approximately $1,000, uh, over 6% between 12 and 3 p.m. today on the vaccine knows, news. It went from 15.8 uh, down to 14.8 uh, based on this trading view data. And I can tell you right now what happened. A bunch of people said, there's a vaccine, I gotta get out because Bitcoin is only a store of value and it's only for when the markets crash. And that's when they got out. Those are like traditional players who don't know what me and you know. We They don't know how far Bitcoin's gonna go. They don't know that it is a programmable money or platform. They don't understand the whole finite uh, argument as opposed to gold. They may not realize that it is the best performing asset class over the last 10 years. It's beaten uh, oil, gold, and any stock ever. 
And maybe they just think it's a gimmick uh, that Mike Ristrategy and Paul Tudor Jones and all these big players are talking about and all these uh, institutional investors. Maybe they just don't they just don't believe in it like you and I do. And uh, that's why they jump ship. And that's why that's the definition of weak hands right there, because sometimes people are just weak, but sometimes people are just ignorant. They don't know exactly what's going on. Ignorant is not a bad word. Ignorant is just you're just uneducated in a specific area or a specific subject. So. Uh, if they were, uh, they would not have sold. But they did, and that's good for me and you because hopefully uh, you picked up uh, some cheap Bitcoin, a thousand bucks off. That's a huge flash sale. Anyhow, Pfizer publicized a statement claiming its COVID-19 vaccine has shown to be 90% effective. That's pretty fantastic. The company said its numbers come after testing 43,000 subjects. The vaccine, however, still awaits final approval from the U.S. FDA. And they state... Submission for Emergency Use Authorization, or EUA, to the U.S. FDA. Man, I feel like I'm back in the Army. I was mnemonics. Planned for uh, soon after the required safety milestone is achieved, which is currently expected to occur in the third week of November. And I I will tell you, it's pretty amazing how fast it actually was rammed through. I used to work in drug research in Phoenix uh, in the early 2000s, a place called MDS Pharma Services. And we would dose and, and uh, give these experimental medications to... Uh, subjects who were volunteers and it took years and years and years and it would took it cost a ton of money for these big players to get in there and um, it was very meticulous so to see this happen in this amount of time i gotta tell i gotta tell you it's uh it's pretty amazing anyhow the s p 500 bolted up on news uh, almost four percent wow four percent in price at market opening this morning meanwhile gold another still value of asset has fallen more than five percent over the last several hours suffering continued carnage as of publication time that's pretty funny suffering carnage uh, also, on top of that, um, different companies had done well with the coronavirus uh, because of all the different things that uh, it has negated. Video conferencing platform Zoom watched its stock decline by approximately 19%, which makes a lot of sense, right? I mean, everybody's using Zoom now, uh, especially for re remote workers or just staying in touch. So Zoom went up uh, massively. And, uh, you know, that is just one of those those technology things that, uh, of course, is great. Uh, Netflix fell almost 10%. All right. Uh, even on e-commerce giant Amazon dropped more than 5%. So a couple of things. This is stupid. You're going to tell me because of a vaccine, people are going to stop watching or watch less of Netflix? Yeah, right. And then giant Amazon dropped 5%. You think people are going to go back to the stores that much? Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to put more money in Amazon. I own two stocks. I own Amazon and I own Tesla. And I'm going to put more money into Amazon because once you get the taste of not having to go to the store, you're like, why have I been going to the store? There's a lot better products out there, a lot cheaper, and I, and I can actually save time. So I, I just don't see the the um, thinking behind that. But this leads me to a little, little caveat point. And we talk about whales and the information that they know, because I believe that it's just all about the information that you know that really sets you apart. It's not about what you know, it's who you know, but uh, it's also good to have a little insider information. So there was a little snippet I just kind of glanced over a couple days ago. It says that Jeff Bezos sold $3 billion of Amazon stock in uh, U.S. election week. And, you know, you might have just assumed, well, maybe it's because of that uh, crazy uh, presidential election that went on. Maybe just, you know, just kind of dumping it a little bit just to, you know, uh, be prudent. But what do you want to guess that the richest man in the world maybe has some friends who works at Pfizer or who work for Pfizer or have connections with Pfizer? And they said, hey, guess what, Jeff? <laughs> got a vaccine and it's about to come out next week and we're gonna make a big announcement really fantastic i'll be selling some of my stocks and here we are just a theory allegedly i'm not gonna uh you know dump on anybody for uh, uh making a solid move that that's not insider information i don't know what it is and so that's what's going on now, let me know what you think in the comment section the last two pieces i'll say is about the s p 500 and um yeah i guess you know did okay today i mean i don't two percent woo and then uh gold price now gold price did take a little bit of a dump i mean five percent is five percent and if you're if you're a gold bug you're like what the heck just happened well that's bound to but again my personal opinion is everybody should own bitcoin silver and gold and uh if you're gonna take a little dump like this maybe it's time to pick up some cheap gold just saying anyhow let me know what you think in the comments section and this will lead me to my next point which is it doesn't matter about the news right now about what's going on let's take a look of what's not happening today what's going to happen in the next week 
month, and maybe six months from now. And that is all contained within this radical email from Krakens. <laughs>